So I'm currently rocking an Intel 5820K. So I've overclocked this so it can get to about 4.4 gigahertz. So I'm gonna try this out with Flight Simulator. So also got an RTX 2070 as well. So let's see how this does. Before I do a quick video of how this actually works because this process is actually like really cheap now. It's around like 50 pounds. So it's a really good, cheap Intel processor. You can get some uh, pretty cool uh, or cheap Chinese motherboards as well to work with it or secondhand motherboards. So I'll get into the game and I can show you what it actually is like. A quick, a quick look at my settings. I've got, um, that's my resolution, 3440 by 1440. So I've got a Samsung uh, ultra wide screen and I'm running everything on pretty much high or high end. So uh, let's give this a go so I can switch between some CPUs. Yep, I'm rocking about 4.29 gigahertz at the moment, 34% utilization. So let's see how it goes. I was gonna get a, a FPS counter, but it's not really much point because this game runs at like 40 FPS anyway. So uh, let's get into it. Let's just do a round, uh, let's just, House of Parliament, where? We go from, uh, let's go from, hopefully if I, if I think if I click one of these, it says departure. I'm actually really bad at this game, so this might be a bit um, hard to watch for all those uh, proper flight simulate sim guys out there, but let's see how this goes. So it's currently taking a, um, so the clock speed's gone down to about three gigahertz at the moment. Let's see, what CPU's actually looking like it's uh, being used a bit for that uh, menu. All right, I'll, let's do this. So, uh, see, it seems to be working. Fine, a little bit chuggy, but the game absolutely looks awesome. So, so if I uh, quickly switch, yeah, I see. So we're using about half the the CPU utilization. So we're rocking, but our RTX is pushing it max and using quite a lot of uh, ram as well but it seems to be handling okay um yeah so i thought i'd just do a quick video showing showing what this game is like on a 5820k overclocked so many people say that you shouldn't overclock your processor but i think this processor is so cheap now like 50 pounds on ebay you can pretty much um afford to overclock it even though you might do some long-term damage to it, you know. It's kind of still a cheap CPU, so um, it's well worth getting. If you're thinking about just want a cheap CPU for flight sim, you can overclock it pretty easy in the motherboard as well. So uh, yeah, it's doing okay at the moment. Cool, so uh, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.